So, it's pretty fucking late. It's about 2 a.m. right now. Um, I have a lot of extra energy, so I'm taking a walk. And I want to talk to you about something that's very dear to me. Um, it's, it's something I've been struggling with all my life. Um, and that's basically you being unique and how you shouldn't ever let somebody else dictate how your life should look and nobody don't listen to anybody who tells you you know you're not normal this is weird you shouldn't be like that or you know fit yourself to the fucking mold like people love to talk about that shit they love to tell you you know oh what you're doing is um you know you you should be more responsible you should be less lazy you should do it like this you should do it like that that's such bullshit i mean look everybody's unique everybody has their own style i mean if if you're depressed obviously you want you know you want to get help for that but you know people look at depression for example and but the, but they never ask like okay why is that person is that person depressed or in my example i'm bi bipolar so you know uh, i i could have a manic episode have tons of energy feel really good uh, next day I could be really down you know it happens but you know I've always realized I'm not fit for the nine to five life you know wake, wake up every single day at nine at, at seven go to the same job you know I've, I've always had a thing for diversity I've always had a thing for traveling the world and in the past let's say you know you wanted to to do that you, you know you could do that but it would be a lot more complicated like you'd have to figure out some sort of a solution um, where you can create that kind of situation and may, I think that's what I'm going to call this video it's like it's like find a solution to fit your life find find a solution to live your life the way you want it to live um, you know it's so simple and a lot, of pe a lot of people think about it they all they think about is money all I think about is like, okay, once I have this much money, I'll be able to live the way I want. But it doesn't work like that. Like, your solution should be from the start exactly what you want. Like, I say that a lot. You can't get you can't get to where you want to get by doing things you don't want to do. Um, when you do things you don't want to do, you'll only create a situation where you get things you don't want to get. And you can always tell whether you're on the right direction or not based on how you feel when you do what you do. Um, you can't have a period of, you know, just doing shit you don't like to do and then get to a situation that you like. It's, it's, it's always doing things you want to do. They might not be easy, but you know, you want to do them and then that supports a good life. So, so for me, again, I've always been special. I've always been, you know, a lot of, everybody's unique, but I've always been a bit more different. Uh, you know I've always had this for example some people are nocturnal they they stay awake at night some people are uh, morning people um, I'm both um, sometimes I like to stay up all night and sleep during the day sometimes I like to sleep during the day and just you know <laughs> do whatever during the night and sometimes I like to wake up very early at 5 a.m. and you know have a full day then go to sleep at 9 p.m. <laughs> so I change, you know. Sometimes I like this, sometimes I like that. Sometimes I like, you know, sometimes diversity and I want to do a lot of things. Sometimes I just want to do one specific thing and just focus on that. So instead of trying to fit yourself into the molds that are, you know, existing, you know, oh, you can have a night job, you can have a day job, you know, you can do this, you can do that. No. Uh, create your own situation we're living in the 21st century there, there's we're in the connected age like the the you know you should read a job a, a, a book it's called the end of jobs and it talks about how you know jobs are getting irrelevant like everybody has to have some entrepreneurial spirit or you're gonna be in trouble so you know today you're being rewarded for being an innovator like you could go work at a job make you know like ten dollars an hour twenty dollars doesn't matter and on on 
you know, so you get $10 per hour and you work eight hours a day. So multiply that by a month, you know, you work, let's say 100 hours a month or 150 hours a month, doesn't matter. Again, $10, $10 times 150 hours. Somebody else, some entrepreneur, he like creates a, an app or has a business, an online business that makes, you know, 150 sales of $10 in a day <laughs> so he's basically multiplying your time and you know think more broad think think about people traveling the world I mean I just you know there's this app called Periscope it's, it's an app for 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 videos you basically take videos in real time and people can watch them and comment it's like YouTube live but you know it's more dedicated towards that and Periscope people simply make videos of shit and they get views for that, <laughs> you know, in real time with, with an audience that communicates with them. And I just saw a girl, <laughs> she has like a million followers there and all she does, she's a painter, okay? And she paints and takes a video while painting and she explains how she paints. It's like she takes what she loves, she makes it even better, <laughs> you know, and, and she gets paid for it and she gets world, rec world recognition for it. So it's it's awesome. It's it's crazy, you know. And for me, my biggest passion is is coaching. It's lecturing. It's helping people. It's talking to people, working with people, helping people get insights. Like that's me. That's what I like. I don't like anything else. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I and it's not that I don't like it and I I do it anyway. It's that I don't like it and I'm I'm not doing it no matter what. It doesn't matter if you know even you know currently I'm not in the best financial position because I recently had a few huge business losses and and still I, I'm not gonna you know do anything for a buck that I don't want to do I'd rather suffer the consequences than you know do something I don't want to get money <laughs> so and it's stupid you know you you don't that would make sense 50 years ago but today it doesn't make sense you know you don't need to do something you don't want to do for money so it's just a boundary that I don't I don't let myself cross it so again you, you want to create a situation in your life that's supportive of what you like like do, do you like music okay now th make that the thing like make you know become really good at it post a ton of content find a way you know you don't need to innovate you don't need to again in the past you would need to innovate in the past people who wanted for example to travel needed to create a solution they needed to create the solution innovate so that they could live the life they want to live today you don't need to do that the, the solutions are there you know, you have YouTube, you have Twitter, you have Facebook, you have Insta Instagram, you have um, um, uh, Snapchat, uh, you have the, the, the other one I told you about, the Periscope one. You can create your own blog, you know, on the internet. You can do Amazon sales, you know, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you like doing Amazon sales. You like promoting objects. You know, you're, you're a, a kind of an entrepreneurial guy with with uh, a, a thing for commerce, fuck yeah, do the Amazon thing. But if you're not about that, then don't do that. <laughs> you know, there's other ways to make passive income. You know, it shouldn't be like, okay, 24 hours, like I'm traveling the world and I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I like to travel the world. And then there's the, the, the two hours that I don't like where I sit down and do the thing that I don't like to do, which is, for example, the Amazon but it makes me the money. No, create a situation from the beginning where you make the money from doing something you love and then, you know, you, everything is awesome. So I've had multiple periods in my life where I had that kind of a situation. It was amazing. You know, I've had periods where I would coach people. I would charge anywhere between two to $4,000 for a client. And I would travel the world and work with people on Skype. I would literally work about 10 hours a week coaching people and make more money than I've ever made from that. You know, and I've had other situations where I just lived in one place, but all I did was lecture. 
you know, I would just lecture at least two, three times a week. I would even set up the lectures. I just, I was so good at it. People would just set up the lectures for me. And from every, let's say, 10 people that I lecture to, I would get two, three clients for, you know, lower prices. But instead of, let's say, $2,000, I would charge $1,000 or $500, but I would get like 10, 15 clients, you know, uh, every two, three weeks. So, you know, again, you know, you can write a book, you can <laughs> do this so much shit you can do. So, again, whatever it is that you're passionate about, I don't care what it is, fit your life around that. You know, don't compromise on it because you're going to die one day and life is short. Okay, so, and, and not, don't only take what you love. It's not about like, okay, I'm passionate about this, so I have to do this all the time like you know in the template that other people created like for example i like to coach but that doesn't mean that i like to coach that i only do coaching or that i coach anybody that comes you know i might have a period of time where i don't i don't want to coach or you know i might want to coach just let's say five times a week or four times a week for four hours a day uh, a day or not you know no more than two sessions a day you know just because i like to coach doesn't mean i need to coach all day long <laughs> as a job you know you can create a solution for that so don't just take into account what you like you know your passion take into account everything like how's your sleep schedule do you like to travel or do you like to stay in the same place uh do you want to get married you know do you want to have like a single spouse or do you want to have like an active sex life? Um, you know, maybe you prefer to be single. Do you like reading books? Would you rather spend eight hours a day reading books and only two hours a day working? Uh, whatever it is, there's a solution for it, but you're not going to find the solution until you first realize exactly what it is you want to achieve. <laughs> so again, people, you know, everybody wants to travel. Everybody wants to do cool things, but, but it, you're not gonna find that solution until you first of all zone in exactly on your personality type. And again, everything, everything about you, sleep schedule, eating, the way you like to eat, the way you like to dress, you know, where you wanna be, who you wanna meet, what do you like to do? How's your personality? Do you like to be more like this or more like that? Like we spend all this time trying to fit ourselves into the mold you know we try to find a mold that bets that that best fits us and then we try to fit into that mold and we just hope it's not so you know different from us so we have to contour a bit less or to deform ourselves a bit less but the way you should do it is you need to be the mold okay you already are the mold. You don't need to find a mold that fits you. You need to find things that you can fit in your mold. Okay? So, again, take, make a mental summary for yourself. Ask yourself, what are my biggest passions? What do I like? How do I like living? You know, do I want to be famous or do I want to be low key? Do I want to travel every day or maybe just once a week or once a month or once a year? Um, what is the standard of living I want? Do I want fancy cars and all that shit? Ask yourself all of these questions and start building a life around that shit. And you do that, your life is going to be amazing. You don't do that and there's going to be discrepancies. You know, your life could be really good but there's going to be parts about it that, that are really bad. So I, I don't, I'm, I, I'm very total. I'm very, I've always been very black and white, you know, very extreme. You know, the, there's no such thing for me as um, halfway compromise when it regards me and my life and the way I want to live. There's no halfway. There's no like, okay, you do this 
amount of hours you do something you like and then this many hours you do something you don't it was always no i i want to live a life where i only do what i like it doesn't mean that i always want to do it you know it happens that you're not in the mood or something but it has to be something where i would choose to do it anyway even if i don't feel like it because i want to not because i have to Sorry, this is a, it's, it's a topic that I've thought about for so long. And again, th this, this thing is the holy grail for me. Like this thing was what I based my life philosophy around. You know, I've, I've made so many sacrifices. I've quit so many good positions. I'm talking about amazing at, at first it was good jobs then it was an amazing job and then it was a super amazing job and I quit them all and then I built a business that made a shitload of money doing what I love and then I quit that too because I was like maybe that's not the one you know and then I built another business that was also extremely successful and then you know what I closed it down too <laughs> Because I was like, no, that's not the one. You know, and I've been burnt so many times by going for shit that felt right to me. And I've never regretted it. Not even once. I regret it, you know, maybe there's decisions I made that I was sorry for. But there's nothing I regret it, ever. Like, no decision I've made where I was like, I'm not happy I did that. So, again, th there's a good... There's a, you know, the, the, a light at the end of the tunnel. You, you're the one who basically creates the tunnel. The tunnel doesn't really exist. It's you choose to keep yourself captive because you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe that you'll find a solution where you can live a life that you like, that you enjoy. Now, I'm not saying it might not take you you know it might take a while to build it obviously whatever it is you like to do you might not get paid from day one but using the internet today you have so much leverage that it won't take you more than a few months you know if you're i mean if you're really really bad it might take you a year or two of doing it on the side before you get a sufficient income but if you're smart you know you read books and you take a lot of action it, it should take you months and if you're really smart and you know you take a lot of action and you really come with the right headspace it could take you a month or two to have your previous income from the job you had and this time you're doing what you love and I know it sounds whack because people's expectations are so low but this is the internet you have billions of people connected <laughs> you know so many people are becoming multimillionaires from the internet it's not like a phenomenon it's not like a thing where it sort of happens to a very select few people anybody who gets you know does it right on the internet is making a lot of money because it's leveraged because you have so many people there you know so <clears throat> so you know you just need to pull through the short hard time that would take you to just sustain yourself at the minimal level once you get there there's no ceiling to how much you can earn and there's no ceiling to how cool your life could get. <laughs> That's what I like about it. And uh, again, check out every single big YouTube or you know, people who are successful on Amazon. Uh, what else is, is there? Um, basically anybody who's on the internet and fairly big you know, over, let's say, 100,000 um, followers and does it right, or over a million followers and even does it mediocre. 
that person is a millionaire or he's going to become a millionaire. Either way, they're all set because there's a huge, enormous amount of abundance that you're just missing, but you're, not, you're missing it because you're not trying to tap into it. You know, you're not missing it because it's not there. It is there. And the more time passes, you know, the more millionaires are created, uh, which, by the way, every year there's about two times as many millionaires created as the previous year. Every year that passes, you, you get more and more, um, a more clear sense of how undeniable this is that, you know, the job era is pretty much over. <laughs> basically it's it's gonna you know it's it continues to go down now of course there's gonna be jobs that kick ass you know there's gonna be jobs like like a salesperson or a salesperson who's really good would always make a shitload of money salespeople are you know great salespeople have always been the most successful people in the world um, you know other jobs like CEO or you know just things that can, that have need the human touch they're gonna stay um, whatever could be imported to places like India would obviously be imported that job is gonna be lost but you know some some of them cannot be imported but again you know um, obviously the people who are still watching this they're not watching this because they want to you know, be really good at the job. They're watching this because they think there's something beyond. So, you know, just go for it. Like, you know, feel free to tell me whatever it is you like to do or how your um, character and personality could fit into a cool life. Again, for me, my biggest passion is coaching people. I love to travel. I love seeing new places. I love meeting new people. Um, you know, and, and I do like, you know, fame. And I do like fortune. Like that's, that's just things that I like. So, um, that's for me, at least. That's my direction, where I'm heading. Um, hope to know what it is that you guys like to do and uh, thanks for watching the video